Welcome back, everybody, to the Pokemon Soul Silver playthrough. This is part 16, and we are mere seconds away from challenging one of the most dreaded gym leaders ever, Whitney. That's Whitney. No. Don't let her pink hair or her innocent demeanor fool you. She is a very, very dangerous gym leader. She's warning us she's good, and she means it. Look at that pose. She looks like she's flexing. And she's jumping up and down. She's really hyped up for this battle. I'm just not. This, 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 this just brings back many, many bad memories from gold and silver. So very many bad memories. But you know what? I didn't have a super awesome badass team like I do right now. We're going to take you down, Whitney. We're going to take you and your pink hair down, you girly, girlish girl, you. So anyway, leading in with Fluffer, doing a little poison. Before the battle, though, I decided to switch up. And have Fluffer out first because, well, like I just did, I decided to lead in with a little bit of poison. And that's always good because Clefairy, just like Jigglypuff and Chansey and certain others, have lots and lots of HP. So with poison, that takes out one-eighth of its entire HP every round. Just in, just in case anybody didn't know that. It's mimicking me! It's learning Bullet Seed! No! Well, that's hardly going to do anything, even if it does use it, which I doubt. Oh, crap. Then she goes ahead and does that. Dang it. So Super Potion, that only re that only heals 50 HP, and yet it, it, it healed it completely. So this thing has not as much HP as I thought, but it's got some pretty badass defenses, if I say so myself. God, this is one heck of a battle, I'm telling you. Th th this is hyped already, man. This is just crazy. Crazy. Look at the... Uh-oh. Oh, man, this is what I was hoping wouldn't happen. Ah! Not lick. Get away. Oh, well, at least it didn't get poison. That's that's lucky. <sighs> Clefairy and its girly, girly, girlishness looking girliness. This this gym leader is all about girliness and the like. Ah, there it goes using metronome again. Oh, crap. Oh, that's right. Right. Okay. Good thing that half-flying type for Fluffer came in handy and such. Oh, God. That was scary. All right, then. So that's it for its Clefairy. But now we move on to the most horrible part of this battle. Mill Tank! Moo! It moves and it signals the end. The end. <laughs> We're all doomed. Lead in with a little bit of paralysis. But things have changed from, from gold and silver. Now it has a Lumberry. And then it uses a tract. They really thought this battle through very well. They gave Miltank such an annoying and powerful move pool. Look at that! Come on, Fluffer. Paralyze her. There you go. Yes. Thank God. Now, maybe it won't move. Maybe. Crap. Fluffer. Fluffer. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're gonna... Wait, we're gonna take a risk here. No, that's... Jiffer oh, that's not good. Oh, Mill Tank and its rollout. Taking down Fluffer. It's been a while since I had a fainted Pokemon. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, uh, so yeah, Contra. Gonna go ahead and try to get things done. Do a little protect. Break that rollout chain. Because once it starts rolling out, you want to get out of its way. And by any means necessary. So now we're going to have a little bit of fireball action. Yes, yes, I was right about this, yes. Try to take down that mill tank because, well... Oh, thank God. It's the number one Pokemon versus number one Pokemon on both sides. How will this battle go? Too bad mill tank's already paralyzed, it can't be burned. And crap, it keeps using attract. You see, this is why I have diversity in genders in my in my team. Look at that, half male, half female. That's perfect. Perfect, I say. Citizen's app gonna try and get things done. Good thing it can't use attract, thankfully, on my citizen zap. Citizen zap don't roll that way. Uh-uh. Thunder shock. Let's see how much that does. Oh, that was actually pretty good. That was a critical hit. But then it keeps using stomp. That is really powerful. Yeah, poor you. Yeah, sure. Keep telling yourself that. 
Tackle? No, wait. Oh, that's right, I was up to something sneaky. Food Citizen Zap, holy crap! Switch out, quickly! To Contra! Now I'm going to show you just how sneaky and desperate I am to destroy this mill tank! Taking one hit on rollout. It's super effective, but we're gonna follow it up with a self-destruct! Self-destruct sequence engage! Boom! Take that, you dirty, dirty cow! Yes, no super potion uses for you, Whitney. Unfortunately, Contra fainted, but Fireball and Citizen Zap get EXP points out the booty. And a new attack, which... This just looks very strange. There's no Pokemon on the field and stuff's going on. It's like... Yeah. Poof. Forgot how to use Growl and use Cotton 4, but it's not really that big of a deal, because it already has Thunder Wave, so... That's it for Leader Whitney! Leader, Leader Whitney, now she's crying. She's crying. This is what all professional gym leaders do when they lose, they cry like little girls. What do you think of this quote, Fireball? Something smells really good. Apparently, Fireball enjoys the smell of Whitney's tears. Wow, wow, Fireball. Wow, I, I, I didn't know it was like that. It just, man, I, you know, I didn't know that you didn't like her that much. I mean, God. But I wouldn't either if I had to go up against that friggin' mill tank. League badge get! The plane badge! Badge number three. And that lets us use strength outside of battle. And she gives us a fancy TM. Guess what it is? It's a tract, of course. Ha! <laughs> Whitney is definitely quite the one. She is pretty funny. That was a good cry. I always like to see what the gym leaders say like after you beat them. You know. Oh, yeah, you were just admiring. Yeah, let's put that in massive quotes. Admiring. Pervert. Gah. Anywho's. Alrighty then. So that's it for Whitney, the Goldenrod Gym. We're out of here. We are Audi 5000. Okay, so Fluffer's revived. Your little time skip going on there. Fluffer, what do you have to say? Oh, he's yawning. He's yawning. He's good and relaxed now, so that's good to know. So we're going to have a little changing of the guard. Have Bats and Video Games up first because he needs a little bit of leveling up. What do you have to say, Zubat? Stretched out is... But, like, how... They keep doing that. I notice that they do that a lot right after you heal them. It's like, you know, after you heal them, they're really relaxed and all that. There is one thing that I sort of passed by I forgot to get. Actually, after you beat Whitney, you should go to the flower shop to the right of the gym. Talk to the lady there, and she'll give you the squirt bottle, which is necessary to progress on. Oh, right. And this guy... I said no, because what you actually have to do is you have to take a Spiro from him, which has mail attached to it, and deliver it to some dude on Route 31. While normally if I wasn't doing a playthrough, I might be up for that, but the thing is is that I have to go back to the Pokemon Center, deposit one of my Pokemon, then come back, then take it, then go back to... No, no, no. Just too much trouble. I think it's actually that sleeping guy that that we passed by on Route 31. The, 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 the one that was sleeping there next to the Apricorn tree. Yes, yes. I remember now. I remember. Alright. So taking care of this Picnickers, Vulpix, just like that. She said she was going to the gym, but I don't know which gym because I already left one. So she's talking about the Ecruteek gym. Lol, spoilers. Uh, that's not going to be for a little while. This guy wants to show his girlfriend that he's hot stuff. Well, come on, hot stuff. Let's see it. Okay, that just sounded wrong. Sandrew! Second Sandrew of the playthrough. I don't, I, you know, I don't, I, I usually don't keep track of these things. But you know what? Sometimes I just remember. Anyway, let's get to some fancy shoutouts that I haven't gotten to. Benjai97 says that his favorite Pokemon is the best Pokemon of all time. It's Bidoof. No doubt. Of course. Everybody loves Bidoof. First Meryl of the playthrough. I wasn't really too worried about this Meryl. It's not really that big of a deal, you know, water type and all that. But I was made aware that it has kind of a dangerous move. Not Defense Curl, which it actually can use in combination with it. Rollout, actually, which wouldn't really have worked very well for bats and video games. So thank God we took him out quick. Getting some EXP and a level up. Very nice. Level 20. Or Zubat. He's moving places. And that's it for Elliot. 
No, no, no. The wee dude loses for nobody. Mister, the camper guy. Go camp or something. You smelly old camper. I love how she I love how she totally owned him. It's like my boyfriend's weak. Uh, so, oh my god, she has a Pika Pika. Pikachu, first one of the playthrough. Interestingly enough, showing the fancy gender differences that came out in Generation 4, it has a little sort of, like, a dip in its tail. It makes it sort of look like a heart shape. That's a female Pikachu. Yeah, it's all like, full of hearts and all that. I don't know. Anyway, making it as girly as possible, I guess. Anyway, I use Cotton Spore, but like I said, it's not really that useful. I have Thunder Wave, which halves a Pokemon speed, so it's kind of a lot better. I don't know why. Yeah, that was just... Anyway, Zach Guy double zero says, My favorite Pokemon is Mudkip. I heard he likes Mudkips. Yes, yes he does. New Age Classic Gamer says, As for my favorite Pokemon memory, I'd have to say my first copy of getting... My, getting my first copy of Pokemon Crystal. This was my introduction to the Johto region, and I absolutely loved it. I loved all the new Pokemon and got so excited when you got the ability the ability to return to the Kanto region with all of your new Pokemon. I replayed that gem time and time again and enjoyed the heck out of it. It was just a fantastic game, and to this day I consider it the best region in all of the Pokemon games. I couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. So this is the battle. Battle of the something. Electric types. Yeah. I had to switch out Zubat, because it was getting a little, a little dangerous. Windowses says his best memory was when I was around five or so. I was watching TV and stumbled across Pokemon. And the episode I saw was when Ash and the Samurai Kid was battling with Metapods. How I became hooked to the franchise after that episode, ap after that episode I will never know. Ha ha. His favorite Pokemon is Dunsparce. Dunsparce. I remember that episode. That was actually kind of a funny episode. Metapod, use your Harden. Metapod, Harden even harder! Yeah, that's that battle went places. I do like, though, that he said that his favorite Pokemon is Dunsparce. I definitely think that is an underrated Pokemon. Very interesting, too. That thing is gigantic, actually. I think it's like six feet long. Anyway, Citizen Zap. Looking around restlessly for something. Maybe he'll find it in the next part. Join me in part 17 in Soul Silver playthrough. And, um, you know... Citizen Zap and all the rest will be there. So see you all next time. Eventually. Sometime soon. Alrighty. We're out of here. We're out of 5,000. Again, I use the same joke twice in the same video. Crap.